here we are, we're in ZBrush and now we're gonna use this base um, as a um, starting point for our creature. Um, it's really, it really depends on your goals, but for example if you need to deliver um, a rough concept um, like at the end of the day and you want to have more than one proposal and in my case today to make a tutorial not too long uh, you can just really work on some details and send this um, after we're gonna render it to client to the client to just check if that if that's the right direction and so now I'm gonna show you um, a few um, tricks and workflows to to make it uh, more detailed and basically what I'm gonna do as a first thing I want to do is um, to move uh, let's hide the rock um, in a proper way inside this kind of veins That's why earlier I said, uh, don't worry about the um, position. Because here we have transparency. We can move things around. And for example, here we can even try something like this, like a tank or, let's see, for now it's just a nice idea. Again, let's fix this. Good thing about organic stuff, you don't really need to be 100% precise. So if I do this and I'm moving even here or here, I really don't care. Unless it's well placed. Or, for example, you really don't want to touch this. Uh, you can here mask lasso and you mask this. So now what we move, it's only the part we want to move. All right. Invert mask. Here I can even smooth and hide it. All right. For example, here, if you want to have it um, thinner, I'm, I'm, I would use inflate and with alt. So I just um, make it thinner and then smooth to remove the artifacts. Um, but I'm gonna stay with something uh, thicker for now because I want to really see how how it works uh, in Keyshot. Again, here I'm go I, I want to. Place it in the middle. And not too close to the edge. Right. I don't know if you know, but with the move, um, move brush, um, if you want to move it like in and out, like perpendicular to the mesh, to the normal, you press Alt so it goes up or down. So again, if I have this angle, up or down. 
and for example if I want to do it um, towards the camera same thing I just go here where the normal probably is facing me and then up and down up and down I think I'm gonna actually leave some of these um, outside because I want to see the difference at some point and okay here let's go check All right we can grab one of these and make it longer follow the curve all right let's say this is the main tentacle and he has more stuff going on inside Then this is really handy, solo mode, so you can just focus on what you're doing, what you want to see. Again, here I would use um, inflate to make like at least one area um, then smooth, thicker. And then actually I'm going to show you one of my brushes, uh, which is this one, CA Wrinkles. And basically this brush I made is, um, at least for me, a perfect tool for uh, wrinkles and organic veins or whatever. Simple, something like this. Whatever is alien like, or even I've used this for um, like animals and still worked really well. Um, it's really, um, it's a really good brush for um, skin in general and membranes. So imagine this um, area here has some um, skin um, and you want to join. This is a really nice brush to make it happen. So you do this, this, and you can see it has like a, um, a little bit of irregularity. So if you tap, 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 you have really nice stuff going on. probably <laughs> we're doing something that uh, we'll never see because it's gonna be inside and with a um, rough material so but just to show you this brush I'm gonna use it for this and for many other things later on so again I smooth and so we have this kind of organic look 
I am as a um, workflow I most of the time exaggerate and then I smooth because I find the the smooth uh, brush of ZBrush really really good in terms of um, polishing but in a way keeping uh, what you've done so I rather prefer do it like twice smoothing so I can get for example here at the first um, volume and then I can add like details and more volume and again smooth One trick um, is to follow the shape. So, for example, the lighting here is giving me like this uh, brighter and darker areas. So, what I do basically is like try to follow the edge between the light and the shadow. And with this technique, you you're gonna probably have like really uh, nice and natural flow in your shapes like this and then probably you can add this kind of treatment under the line same here I am for example here I don't I really don't care to to go crazy with um, details and Polygons, because I'm um, this thing. Uh, think we we're, we're never gonna see it probably um, really zoomed in, and I just want to show you um, some technique and give it like a nice space in case of um, close-ups. Again, this is my uh, brush which works really well with um, like pressure of the pen so you can really have um, irregular skin wrinkles and detail you can also use it with negative so alt And then positive. All right, so I'd say for now this is uh, quite done. And what we need to do now is clean and add more detail uh, to the main shape uh, this material is too bright so let me remove okay so um, in this case I really like the asymmetry we 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 have so I'm not really gonna change that much um, it's always good to uh, move things around to make it balanced. I always say I love imperfect symmetry because in a way um, all my artworks are symmetrical but at the same time asymmetrical. I really kind of try to find always the um, um, that balance that makes it look symmetrical even if it is not again here let's take my brush and start to add and continue some of those details
here we can create some skin wrinkle effect so again do it smooth do it again smooth do it again on top and smooth on the edges smooth again Um, as you can see here with a uh, brush in VR, we gave this kind of scale to the creature that almost looks like a um, lizard, but in an alien way, because it's not really a scale, even if our human, uh, human eye uh, is trying to recognize the texture from, what, from the real world. And I think that's a really nice um approach in terms of alien design always try to give the impression something is real but it's not again our old friend them standard is always good and nice to give volumes Saving it. So what I do usually is like I duplicate and then I go back and just to check how it, it was. I go back um, to the original. It's gonna take a little bit. Okay, so now one. Okay, I kind of prefer um, this area here from the previous one. So what I can do is like try to match it. So 
I go back so I don't lose the undo history. Delete. I always use uh, inflate to kind of clean. Okay, so now I'm gonna spend a bit more time on defining Thank you. 